This is Lewis Hart for Boxing Social in association with Empire Fight Store. Delighted to be joined with the Midnight Train, Mr. Richard Riakpour. We're back out um, after you know 10 or 11 months out of the ring. Um, how does it feel to be back out, uh, back in the ring after sort of a bit of frustration um, with fights that you wanted not happening? Does it sort of feel good to sort of dust off the cobwebs in a sense? Yeah, yeah, you can say that. You know, we was waiting, try to make a few fights happen. They fell through. And now we're back here, you know, and that's the most important thing, staying active. Still number one for the WBO and um, just waiting for that to be mandated. But um, we, we have to focus on this fight and um, get through this and we could talk some, some big, big fights next year. I was going to say that with a fight like someone like Brejon, um, is it important that you, you know you have to sort of be careful that you're not complacent in a fight like this because you have opportunities after this fight? Um, so is it important to know not only you know obviously a win is important, but looking good doing it as well? Is it important to to, to make a statement out there? Yeah, of course. I always try to make a statement. Um, that's that's my forte. I think it's uh, it's better for the fans. The fans they want to see excitement. They want to see me let, let my hands go, man. They want to see people getting knocked out. So that's what we do focus on. And we like to focus on, obviously, the, the opponents that are in front of us. Everything else is just, um, it's, it's not there yet, let's just say. It's not there yet. So we, we need to focus on what's in front of us. And right now, this is in front of me. So Obviously, oh, sorry, was you, sorry, yeah, sorry. As I was going to say, obviously, you know, we talked about the fights that weren't happening. One of the fights that was poised to happen, obviously, IBF mandatory. And, Meant to fight Jar Pattaya, um, that sort of fell out. Was that frustrating with that time where you didn't get the opportunity to fight him and whatever conspired there? Yeah, absolutely, because this is this is where we make our bread and butter, and we don't we don't, we don't fight, we don't get paid. So of course it was definitely frustrating, but everything happens for a reason, and um, we're we're back here, and everything is like documented now, so you can just see what happened with all of that. We're focused on on now, and now is is Dylan Brejon and going to get that WBO title next year. Was it frustrating when obviously the whole thing happened with the purse bids that people came out, you know, um, a lot of people, a lot of criticism came out. Was that sort of frustrating for C for yourself where that, you know, that might have been different from the truth? Yeah, but you know, if you're in, if you're in the business and you know what's going on, then you would, you would know, you know. You know what they say, you know that phrase, you know, if you know, you know. And, and most of the people that probably criticize are probably like just casuals. They don't really know. They don't really understand the game and the, and the business side of things. But, you know, it is what it is. Absolutely. Richard, thank you for your time. Appreciate it. All the best on Saturday night, mate. Thank you. Cheers, man.